Hi guys, since it's summer, most of you probably are teaching uh, summer lessons, so I decided uh, to record a video about one of my summer lessons and give detail, detailed explanations how I do it. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how I write down the plan for the lesson first. So first of all, I put on the table everything that I have for my lesson. I look at it and then I sit down to write a plan. Uh, so number one, I always choose to do a warm-up and for the warm-up I have this little sun, okay? Uh, then I have flashcards and flashcards I have right here with a card. I'm going to write uh, English definitions here on these cards. So I'm going to do flashcards plus cards and I'm going to play what's missing and I'm going to mix the definitions and they will have to put it back. Okay, number three in my plan is multipurpose game. It's going to be this fishing game. I will explain how I do it later. Okay, and then I look what's left and I think next would be tic-tac-toe with these uh, shells and stars and with these new cards. They have English already. So I write here number four, number four. So I have tic-tac-toe. We will earn points with this game, points with this game, and then I think maybe now it's time to work a little bit without points, and uh, probably uh, I will use this card with sticky parts. Uh, so here, what do they have to do? Of course, they will. These little parts will be upside down. Yes. <laughs> Uh, and a student chooses one uh, circle, uh, looks at it, and a student has to say, I see a palm tree, or I see coconuts. And next, uh, the student just uh, has to stick it to the right place. And we speak like this, if uh, there is only one student, we do it in turn. In turns, uh, one circle does my student, and uh, another circle, next one, I do. And one after another, until the whole picture is done. This way we speak a little bit, we try to recognize what we see, and we practice our uh, summer vocabulary. So it's also a nice uh, speaking practice uh, without a uh, book. Plus, it's quite interesting, and no, there are no points, it's just practicing. So after I decided what we are going to do, I put it in my plan, number five, speaking card, speaking card, and I will understand the speaking card, I'm in this one. Okay, so here uh, we worked a little bit on speaking, now it's time to work a little bit on writing, and this is the time for a book. In my book I have this, these exercises, and... Uh, I spend maybe 10-15 minutes with a student doing exercises from the book. Or if I don't have a book, I, I find uh, somewhere a worksheet connected with this vocabulary, with this topic. I print it out and I give to my student. So number six in my plan will be a book. Okay, number seven. Now time to relax and maybe to earn some more points and we can play double. Doble I have also with this same same topic, summer, and uh, sometimes if they don't know some things, I just tell them, you point with your finger, I, I tell you how to say this in English, and if you repeat, then I count it. And we play this way. By the end of, this, of all of these cards, they remember some of the new vocabulary as well. So it's also a good game. And also, the person who, uh, whose cards finish first gets, for example, two points. So it's also a competition. Okay, so number seven, let's say doble. Or double, I don't know how to say correctly. Okay, and the last one, I think, will be a memo. It's also from the book. Uh, I just cut it out and laminated. And here we have a picture and definition. So, and we play memory game. And then fifth, I write memo in my plan. Memo. And now time for rewards. We count how many points we got. 
and person who got more points gets three stickers and chooses stickers and almost forgot sometimes i have advanced students who do tasks very fast and time flies very fast and sometimes we have some extra time and uh, for such students i have one more optional game or activity something to make them busy with uh, this time i have this kind of a puzzle uh, this is a, a summer picture. They put uh, these pieces together, they see the picture, and they have to describe, if it's an advanced student, he can describe a picture. He says, I can see a person collecting shells, for example, or I can see a little girl swimming in the sea. So this is also a good speaking practice when they see and describe using the vocabulary that we have just learned at the lesson okay so here we have time uh, we have fishing rods and we have flashcards this is how we do it the time starts we switch on our board and then we have to get out as many <laughs> fish as possible it's very hard to get them out holding the camera so until the time finishes, I have to get as many fish as possible out of the pond. So for example, ah, I'm not very good at fishing, ah, time is up. So we stop and so eventually I have three. <laughs> it means that I can take three cards. I take one, two, three. If you don't have flashcards, you can just have... Uh, cards uh, with uh, English or with uh, any words in any language that you want to learn from, from English into your native or from your native into English. You can use cards or you can use flashcards. And what I have to say, I have to name them in English and then it counts as a point. For example, I say here, blow bubbles and I have plus one point. Then I say, uh, collect stones and one more point and the third one swimming or diving and three points if i was able to remember three three cards i have three points if i don't remember some it doesn't count i i have as many as i could remember so this is simple board game that probably every and now it's time for me to show you how I use multipurpose games. It's just ordinary multipurpose board games that every family um, has, uh, maybe if they like to play uh, board games. Or you can buy them at any toy shop. Uh, so this time I had this fishing game. Now I'm going to tell you how I use it at my lesson. Every child has and children all love it. Mm, so you can use it at your English lessons. You don't have to use flashcards. You can always take sticky notes, write in English uh, words that you have to learn and use them instead. I already have a mess on my table. Just look at this. If I'm teaching at my home, I like to organize my lessons in a box. I call it even lesson in a box. Now, in a minute, I'm going to put it all in this box nicely. I will show you how it looks uh, at the end. So this was my summer lesson that I'm going to use this week. Next week I'm going to teach um, younger learners who are not even at school yet. And I'm going to record uh, my lesson, how I prepared this lesson and how did it go. I hope it will go well. And uh, slowly, step by step, you're going to see more ideas 
on how to teach creatively and more interesting and engaging. So if you like this video, please uh, give me like, subscribe. I hope to see you in my next videos. See you. Goodbye.